If that game was 1A, then this one was 1B. Lord Botetot, a Region 3D finalist last year at Region 4D champ EC Glass. The Hilltoppers, they have changed coaches, so let's keep that in mind. Fans ready for the action out in Lynchburg. LB on the move. And Jakari nicely going deep. But Michael Osei is there to stop the threat as Glass was bringing their defense tonight. Coach Lovelace, of course, now in charge, drawing up some special teams. LB punting, and that one was blocked by Braden Morgan, recovered by Avante Brown. Glass in business. Glass had a pretty good uh, back for the uh, pretty good game in the red zone. Michael Thomas breaking one right here. Nice tackle, nice move, nice touchdown. Glass 7 0 with the half. Second half, more glass. Jamarian Cottrell uh, turning on the afterburners and look at the move and group 45 yards to the house. Glass needed all 14 points. LB got a touchdown late. This one was 14 7. EC Glass. Last year's state runner up in Class 3, Heritage at Albemarle tonight. We're going to start there. High expectations for this Albemarle team. First quarter, no score. Heritage quarterback Aiden Slash taking it himself, slashes the defense, scores the touchdown. Heritage up 7 zip. Later in the quarter, Heritage on the move again. Quick pass, but Albemarle's, Albemarle's Benny Morgan is there for the nice tackle. Second quarter, Heritage keeps coming at you. Marcus White right here with the big gainer. The drive would be capped off by White. Check out the hard running here. He finds the end zone, and we'll give you your final score. Heritage goes on with a big win, 24-7 to this evening. What about Gretna at JF tonight? It would be a good one from the get-go, opening kickoff. The Hawks' Kamari Chatton. well, he's going to do what you just don't want to do. You get stripped in a high-velocity tackle. Ethan Boone recovers, setting up a 27-yard field goal for Cameron McClendon. Cavs fans want to see your touchdowns. Next Cav possession, Damian Williams says, well, look at these. That's a touchdown. Six-yard sprint to the corner, 10-0 Cavs. Ensuing kickoff, Chatton, remember him? He says, look at my 99-yard return to the house to atone for the earlier mistake. Hawks would go for two. And it would be a 10-8 game, and this one would stay close throughout. JF, 29-26, your final. Russ Berg and Coach Torrance gets a four-point win tonight. William Campbell, 46-16 over Cumberland. Appomattox was a winner, 23-6. And Nelson doubled up Randolph Henry this evening. Chatham over Prince Edward, 44 -3. 30 and Central Lunenburg over Alta Vista 26 to 14. Could you describe the ruckus, sir? Uh, there is bound to be a good one at the home of the new Allegheny Cougars in Covington. Meantime, the Highlanders and the Maroon tied with a collision and a decision tonight. Plus, this. We are the new. All right, the Cave Spring Band looking good tonight, doing a great job. Meantime, the biggest news of the night, arguably the debut of the Allegheny Cougars, the long-awaited cons consolidation, pardon me, complete. Tonight, the combined forces take the field against somebody else, Allegheny and Waynesboro, and here they come to take the field. And look at the full house, stands and sidelines packed for the opening game. Opening kickoff, first play of the game, Purcell Turner. See ya. This is what we can do when we're together. Turns on the afterburners, 80-yard touchdown, 7-0. Allegheny quarterback Des Jordan calling his own number here. Little dash up the middle, 45-yard touchdown gallop. Cougars led 14-0, still in the first. Uh, just under 20 seconds left in the first half. Cougars quarterback Des Jordan, he's going to launch it to Xavier Hazlett, who hauls it in. Nice-looking touchdown, 21-0. Third quarter action, John Smith, the punt return. He's going to 
be off to the races. Wow, what a dynamic victory. 35-7, your final tonight. The whole community put a lot into this game. I mean, you know, the fireworks and the pregame hoopla and, and all the folks that came out tonight. I said before, not everybody is, is sure of us. And I said our goal was to come out and put a product on the field that they could be proud of and that the whole community can be proud of. I hope we took a step toward that tonight. Indeed, they did. All right, thank you, Brooke. And the star-studded Three Rivers matchups continue at Glenver with the Highlanders hosting perennial power Galax. Let's get you out for this one. That is Shane Allen and the Maroon Tide in for a good one. Brody Doyot, quick strike to Reed Hutchinson. He will ramble inside the 10. Doyot then would roll and flip it to Shane Gibson. This is what I call improvising 101. Look at this. And he would get in for the touchdown. It's 7-0. Galax quarterback Tommy Jones. He is a talented young man. Watch him answer here. Short completion to Tedron Tucker. And he is our rolling ball of butcher knives tonight because no one can bring him down. He is rolling through the defense. And he scores to tie this one at 7. Coach Clifford and company come back from a 14-7 deficit for a 39 21 victory. James River by one tonight in Carroll County on the road in a tough place to play. They get Grundy 22 16. Narrows all over Auburn. Blue Ridge District, who will take a run at Lord Botetot? Now, I saw Bird handle Rockbridge in a benefit game. Let's see what they got cooking tonight with the Liberty Minutemen in. This is Israel Hairston. He's going to run it on in, and the Terriers were up 21 to nothing with 4.33 left in the quarter. A few plays later, Lane Shoemaker, he will get into the end zone. It's 28-0. Now Liberty with the possession, and how about some defense from William Byrd? Jonathan Rosser putting the Terriers in familiar territory. This one all William Byrd, 72 to nothing. Hidden Valley at William Fleming tonight. We're at the cliff for a good one. Titans at the Colonels. And this was the Malachi Coleman show. Watch him take the ball. First points of the game he is in. Fleming out to a 6-0 lead. Some of the only life for the Titans we'd see. This is Brendan Rose with the interception. But Fleming's offense quick to redeem itself. This is Malachi Coleman again. The need for speed and the touchdown. 32 to nothing. William Fleming victorious. Giles handles Blacksburg 35 to 8. Single wing. Main time Grayson County 14 12. And Craig County 34 to 6 over Bland. And as you can see, Fort Chiswell. 14-12 over Rural Retreat. Big rivalry game goes to Perry McClure, 55-14. to Don't mess with the bull, folks, or, you know, you get the horns. We'll see if the Patriots or the Bees were doing the damage tonight when we come back. Western Albemarle at Cave Spring tonight. Hunter Shepard's Knights in control with some physical football. Jackson Steffen high stepping through the hole, the burst for big yards, and Cave Spring was moving the football at will. That sets up the quick pitch to Amorian Tolliver for the short TD trot, if you will. It's 28 to 3, and you need to see Garrett Lonker going deep for Owen Sweeney. This is an 84 yard connection say hello to my little friend he is gone 42 to 3 is your final the River Ridge produced playoff teams that made deep runs in three different classifications including the state semifinalist Blue Demons a year ago and Christiansburg opening up with Floyd County tonight starting in the first quarter all Christiansburg's Tanner Evans we know this young man he's been player of the week a couple times 40 yard scamper and he is in later in the first hey why not some more Evans 25 yards for a touchdown 14 0 Seaberg on their way to a 42 to nothing final. What about PH at Brookville tonight? Friday night lights back. Bees fans feeling patriotic, if you will. PH also feeling themselves because watch here. The Patriots are up 31 13. Joey Beasley to Ardwan Webb. This is 21 yards out, 38 13. Patriots at the half. The PH defense bringing the lumber. Jason Henderson taking a B to Suplex City, if you will. PH 58 25. 
side. They are victorious tonight. What about Pulaski at north side tonight? On the new turf, Pulaski's Chris Gallimore, little play action to Marcus Reed. And then the very next play, Gallimore is going to take it into the end zone. This one goes to Pulaski. 42 to 7 is your final this evening. Now we've got one more score, and it was Bath County taking on Mountain View Quicksburg. That said, we're not overlooking the Piedmont, folks. Bassett, as you know, has been building for quite some time, Eric. Yes. They get a tough test tonight with Franklin County. And all the time, right? Franklin County right. and Bassett, they've been going at it the past few years. It's been a great opener. Another good win here tonight. Second quarter action. Bengals were up 10 to nothing. And inside the 30, Keelan Price Kent hands it off to Avion McCray, who runs it 30 yards into the end zone. 17 nothing Bengals rolling on the kickoff. Franklin County's Tristan Wright with the return. Ball bounces on the ground, but no worries. He still runs it all the way back to the end zone Ooh. as the Eagles go up on the board. The very next drive, they had a bad snap. Ball goes flying. We would have a fumble. Bassett's Vi Hairston would take it, but Franklin County would rally for a 28-24 victory tonight. How about Magna Vista hosting Stanton River? We had a snap and a quick handoff to Joseph Spriggs, a.k.a. J.J. the Jet Plane. Quick 10-yard run to the end zone. Warriors up 7 nothing. Buck 30 left in the first quarter. Simeon Moore unloads it to his left to Torian Younger. 50-yard run down the sideline after the reception. Magna Vista rolls to a 41-6 victory. Other scores from Southside. Martinsville comes up short to Patrick County. Dinwiddie over at G-Dub 52-7. And Dan River all over Tunstall. Person, North Carolina. I have a 61-20 score against Halifax County. We'll get that checked for you coming up. Appy? All right, more scores for you. Holston takes care of Eastmont that down at Holston. 41-8 to eight is your final. Some more scores for you, including uh, Smith Mountain Lake, 56-8 to eight is your final. Uh, what about North Cross? They were victorious 15-13 to 13 this evening. All right, I want to mention the final race before the postseason at Daytona tomorrow night. Do not miss it. It is right here on WSLS 10. It was a fine show indeed. If you missed anything, head to our website for more. Allie has you covered. And as always, we'll see you next week.